Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is Tuesday, September 17th, 2013. Thank you all for tuning in. Let's jump right into the charts here. We're going to start off with the usual S&P 500 E-mini futures. What you'll see here is that the futures are trading higher by about a dollar and a quarter right now to 16.99 uh, spot 25. A uh, decent little uptick for the futures, but nothing all that tremendous. Um, and if you look at the Asian markets overnight, it was basically a negative session across the board. You did have the Shanghai Composite finish down last night about 2%. So I think that is uh, somewhat important, and traders will want to watch that. Again, anytime China, which has been a, a leader as of late, um, starts to fall or break down, that usually turns out to be a negative. Here you can take a look at the daily chart of the Shanghai, and you can see a pretty big decline last night. So 2% fall in the Shanghai Composite. It's had a very, very good rise really since uh, late July. Um, the Shanghai has moved higher, but that tells us today we have to watch the Chinese ADRs. They could be a little bit on the weaker side. So when you look at stocks that have been really very strong as of late, like Baidu, um, equities such as uh, Sina Corp, and things of that nature. Watch for some weakness today, at least a little bit early uh, in the session. Sohu could be another one. Uh, you have a, a few others, China Mobile, and so forth. So again, Chinese ADRs could be a little bit on the weaker side today. They've had an amazing run as of late. Generally, if the U.S. markets are strong, Chinese ADRs will not be adversely affected. Um, so we'll have to watch and see if the U.S. markets start to turn down a little bit. I'm not sure how much action we're going to see in the markets today. Everybody seems to be eagerly awaiting for that Federal Reserve announcement tomorrow. Um, some people say the Fed will taper. Some people say it will be called taper light, only a $5 billion, $10 billion taper. I have no idea what they're going to do, what they're going to say, but it's more of a wait-and-see event. So tomorrow the Federal Reserve will conclude their meeting, uh, and the FOMC will decide if they're going to taper. Uh, their $85 billion a month of U.S. Treasury and mortgage-backed security purchases. So this is going to be the big news. Yesterday, trading volume was very, very light. I think today we could also see very, very light trading volume again. Um, so we'll see how that plays out. One stock that's in the news this morning is Tesla. Um, <clears throat> looks like General Motors is trying to create a car to compete against Tesla. Um, stock is down a little bit here this morning. Closed at 166.58. Today it's trading at 165. It's not a big deal, but it is a little headline that the company is now going to start to face competition from BMW and also now General Motors looking to build a Tesla-like car uh, to compete with the, uh, with the company. So we'll see how that plays out. There was some economic data out there. I don't think it's really all that big a deal. You see the futures are basically flat on the day, so we're not going to make too much out of it. Really, right now, the market's just waiting for tomorrow's Fed announcement. So again, um, there are a few stocks out here in the news today. One stock I'm going to have a gap level for will be Outer Wall. Uh, this stock is just getting annihilated. It closed at $56 yesterday. Today, it's trading at around $46.95. So I will have some levels for Outer Wall and a couple of other equities on gap, morning gap plays. If you want those levels, come on over to the chat room. They'll be posted at 9 a.m. Um, looking at a couple of other things here today, uh, we do have uh, oil uh, trading down about 50 cents. Light Sweet Crude at the moment is trading down to, let me just make sure I get the exact price here on my live chart. It's trading down 65 cents to 105.93 a barrel. Let's take a look at the all important USO, which is a good proxy, and that's trading at around 3801 at the moment. So, Light Sweet Crude is trading down today. Um, that is down about 63 cents to 105.96 a barrel uh, at the moment. Now, gold uh, was trading higher earlier, now trading down about three points to around 1314.50. So, I don't know how much we could make out of it at the moment. Gold will be volatile tomorrow, though, after that Fed announcement. Make no bones about that. Um, right now, <clears throat> you see the GLD, which is a good proxy for gold, trading around the 127 level. It closed at 126.45, so it is actually up off yesterday's close. But spot gold has now reversed a little bit, and that is down about $3 on the session. It was up about $3 earlier. 
So looking at the markets as a whole, you have the European markets today, uh, flat to slightly negative, not a big deal. Looks like there was some news out of Germany. I believe that uh, German, German uh, investor sentiment uh, surged to a new high. Uh, we'll see how bullish that is for the markets. But either way, uh, Germany did hit a new 52-week uh, high, maybe a new, even a, a new all-time high yesterday in the, the German DAX. So uh, it was a very, very good move yesterday. And um, we'll see if the market needs to start uh, honing in a little bit uh, from these big gains recently. As for the U.S. markets today, um, it's really just going to be one of those days where we're just going to, um, you know, look for the best chart patterns intraday. You don't want to force anything. Most uh, big institutions are waiting on the Federal Reserve. Another stock in the news today is J.P. Morgan. Keep an eye on this one. Stock is trading at uh, 53.20 at the moment, um, but there is news out there that the stock um, has agreed to pay another 800 million and admit wrongdoing in a settlement surrounding the London Whale last year. That also incurred, uh, the London Whale was where they incurred a $6 billion trading loss. Um, there's also some other, um, it looks like there's also some other legal issues for the bank coming down the pipeline. So they've set some money aside for those fines. But uh, nonetheless, J.P. Morgan um, could be a volatile name today, depending our, depending if there are, other, are, are some other fines that the company will have to uh, settle uh, in the near term. So, again, if you're trading JPM, watch for some volatility in that name. But right now, it's it's holding up pretty well, trading at 53.20 uh, before the opening bell. Okay? I'm going to leave it here, short and sweet. Again, I'm not sure how much volume we'll get in this market today. Uh, this Friday is options expiration, so I do think we'll get some volatile action in several names. But it'll be more on an individual name basis. As for the overall market indexes, um, tomorrow afternoon will be the day where we really see fireworks after the Fed announces a, a potential tapering, or maybe they won't taper, um, but it's really just a wait and see, and um, most uh, big institutions are waiting for that Fed announcement tomorrow. With that said, everybody, I'm going to leave it here, short and sweet. Have a great trading day, and we'll see you all on the charts. Take care now.